Hi, I'm Stefan. Hi, I'm Julia. And this is the uh, introduction to our channel. <laughs> we should probably tell her about us. Okay. <gasps> So we've been together. We're a couple. We've been together for for 11 years, married for four. We met all the way down when we were in university together studying. And uh, we both uh, studied to become professionals in different uh, sectors. And we have full-time jobs in, uh, in our respective fields. And we were very passionate about that. Uh, but in our own personal lives here at home, we, we live here in Canada. Me and Julia have uh, actually our true home living passion, which is homesteading which is uh, trying to grow your own food, lay your own food. Uh, we uh, live here in the middle of the suburbs though, and we've tried to grow a little farm here on our own, our whole lives actually. But we got as many pets as we could to fit in here. We have Bambi, our doggy. Uh, you've met uh, Alfie. Here, big Alfie. Fluffball here. <laughs> Alfie, one of our cats. We got Charlie, our big black cat. It's Charlie. He's our 16 pound big giant black cat. We got him as a rescue five years ago. Yes, I love him so much. He was the very first cat I ever had. He introduced me to cats and uh, he's just the best. Uh, he's a bit camera shy. He doesn't like being held against his will. Oh, don't, don't, get, don't let this uh, spoil your image of him. He's the biggest cuddle bunny and he's obsessed with us and all he wants to do is rub up against us all the time That's and true. sleep on us and yeah. Yeah, he's a really, really, really sweet cat and really social and friendly. And we're really lucky to have him. He's strong and actually quite the natural hunter too. He used to escape our backyard all the time until we locked him in the backyard with our ocelot system, which we'll show you at one point in the video. Um, but, uh, but he comes back with mice, birds, and quite the avid hunter. We don't like him doing that in a suburban setting like this. We like the birds and the squirrels uh, to remain unharmed here. On the farm, it's gonna be different uh, as those animals might be. He might concentrate on what are pests inside the, some of our barns and buildings and stuff, uh, in which case we would very much encourage him to hunt. So we got Alfie, our second cat, as a companion to Charlie, our first cat, and they're brothers. They absolutely love each other. They wrestle all the time. And we're really, really excited to see how they're gonna adapt to farm living, because their whole life they have been in a suburb, so. <laughs> I know deep down in their hearts, it's their dream to live <laughs> on a huge acreage property where they're allowed to go where they want and we don't have to worry about them getting run over by cars or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that, I'm sure they'll love it once they get over the initial shock and upset of being moved to a new place. <laughs> That's right. I'm excited to see them also on their new journey. <laughs> no. Yeah, so we'll, we'll document that as well, how, how the cats adjust, how Bambi adjusts. We also have a snake uh, called Medusa, which we can show you her in a little bit. Uh, she's a corn snake. Uh, Julia's had her since she was 12, and this, I, we don't even know what hold it is. I mean, we don't she's even know what She's over it. 20 at this point. She's over 20 years. <laughs> this thing will outlive your mortgage, apparently. <laughs> I'm still kicking around, and we've got four chickens in the backyard, which we're very excited to, uh, to show you a section about. Bridget, Pippin, BB, and Sammy. That's right. I know their names, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we live in the suburbs, however, we've been looking for the last couple of years at farming properties and we finally came across a property we really love. We went through quite a protracted negotiation process to get that farm, but we're super excited to say that we closed the deal and the farm is ours for all intents and purposes. It's now April and however, the closing date for our farm is November. So for the time being, we're still in our suburb for this last summer, but there's so much you can do as well in a townhouse or in a suburb, or even if you're in an apartment. And so we want to document all we do gardening and our projects with our animals this last summer in our suburb. But uh, we'll also show you guys how we move into our farm and then from then on all of our farming projects. Keep in mind, we are not experts. We are like city born and grown people. We aren't um, yeah. We aren't people from these very blue collar manual families who know how to do all the, uh, the outdoor stuff. We're actually completely amateurs and we are learning at the same time uh, that we want uh, you guys to, to kind of follow us and, and see how we're learning and you learn with us. We're total beginners. It'll be an adventure to say the least. All of it will be new, everything we're doing for the same time. There are some things that we've been doing for a while. You know, Bambi's now, our dog is 11 years old. Uh, our two cats are five and four. We've had them since they were baby kittens. 
uh, and our chickens now we've had for two years. But beyond that and our backyard garden, we really don't know anything about farming or homesteading or how to keep different farm animals. So we're going to be learning as we go. Something that I'm really passionate about is horseback riding, but I've never had a chance to own my own horse. And so a big part of this dream is of getting our farm is also hopefully being able to uh, make the property ready for horses and getting our first horse at some point too. That's correct. There is an unlimited amount of work to do on this new place. It is really nice and uh, ready to be lived in, um, but we want to bring you along. Granted, we are reading and doing all the research and uh, taking what we can from experts and people who've done this their whole lives. and. Uh, We'll kind of bring you along in some of the things we learn and how we actually apply them. Uh, we're going to show you the mistakes we did, the do's, the don'ts. And... We're launching our channel with an herb starting series where we're going to show you how we grow our herbs from seed to harvest. Mainly indoors, but also how we move those herbs outdoors once it gets warmer. We started these herbs in January and uh, they're almost ready now to be moved outside in the next couple weeks. So we'll be showing you that in our herb starting series. And then after that, we'll have as well our tomato uh, starting series, also a seed to harvest series. Another thing we have in the works is we're also on a wait list for a farm puppy. Oh boy, that's a big one. Julia always wanted a big dog. I love big dogs. Big dogs are awesome. I refuse to get one in a small suburban home where we are because I never thought we could provide that dog with what it needed. So for me, it's important for it to have that, that the proper amount of real estate for a, for a big dog with lots of energy. But I think now with a 10 acre hobby farm, that's perfect for us, it's time. Yeah, I'm super, super excited. It's always been my dream to have a really big dog. I got Bambi 11 years ago when I was still living with my family and my dad had allergies. So we had to get a dog that was a bit more hyperallergenic. Her being an Italian Bambi. greyhound. Bambi, come Oh yeah, we can show you Bambi. <laughs> Hello, Bambi. Okay. Yeah, she's like, why are you picking me up? <laughs> she's a little Italian greyhound. Yes. Yeah, this is Bambi, our little Italian greyhound, and we absolutely adore her. Uh, but when we get to our farm, it will be important for us to have a big farm doggy that can, you know, be a bit of a deterrent for predators, for our chickens, but also um, that can, you know, make us feel safer on the farm when we're just like walking around at night doing night check or whatever. And yeah, so really, really excited for that. We're on a wait list for a St. Bernard puppy and we'll have another series where we show you the whole journey of getting that, that puppy and bringing it into our, our farm. Just add it, I will be having to buy some equipment for this 10 acre farm. Uh, we're talking chainsaws, uh, gas powered weed whackers, riding lawnmower, things like that. I can also bring you along on, on some of the, that journey and some of my testings of it and finding out what it is that I need for the acreage that I have and what kind of uh, foliage and wood that I have there, what I'm working with. So there's so much uh, we want to show you guys. If this is something that interests you, if you like videos about gardening, about homesteading, about farming, then, oh, it looks like our TV turned on. I think Bambi might have hit the remote. <laughs> she does that. But yeah, if this is something that interests you, then uh, please join us, uh, subscribe, click like, I don't know. <laughs> and follow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. We want to remind everyone that in the comments section, we keep it respectful. <laughs> we like to open dialogues and not attack dialogues. Uh, let's avoid things like uh, religion, politics, or, uh, or anything uh, personal. <laughs> Uh, we do want to make this just a fun channel uh, where we share with you fun farming things. That's right. You'll also probably learn to see us in a different way. Right now, I'm not used to being on camera. I never liked being on camera. I am awkward <laughs> on camera not and, awkward. and in real life. And, um, <laughs> and you'll just see us probably get more comfortable as time goes on, uh, uh, be filming us ourselves and doing it is what we do. I, I know both of us that we're are a little camera shy. We're not used to doing this. so. Uh, be kind in the comments and uh, yeah we, we just we hope you enjoy it we'll try our best to make interesting content for you that is useful educational fun we, we do have full-time jobs though so you know we're not professional video editors we're gonna do our best though to give you guys some some quality content so <laughs> okay okay <laughs>